So we are in Kirchdorf, Germany right now. Kirchdorf is the birthplace of Liebherr. So this is where Liebherr started just after World War II to help rebuild Europe. At this particular facility, so yesterday was excavators and mining machines. This facility makes wheeled excavators and there's a whole bunch of them right behind us. Material handlers and articulated trucks. Articulated trucks are gonna be our area of focus today, which I'm very excited about. I have never actually seen or really run a Liebherr articulated truck, so this will be a first. We're gonna go to see the factories. Hopefully we'll bring everybody along. We're gonna go test out the truck on their test track. It's gonna be a great time. I'll be honest, pretty low energy today. The uh, past five days just caught up with me this morning. It's a struggle at the moment. So this is where the apprentices work in Germany. The apprenticeship programs are very serious and it's part of the actual education system. So here they spend one year learning mechanical setups four days a week. Then they spend one year in the factory. Then they come back here for another year to learn the computer type of equipment. And if they make it through, they then go to the factory. So everybody that works in the factory for Liebherr has been trained by Liebherr for three, three and a half years before they ever go work in the factory. Hans, our tour guide, he said he started here in 1960 in this exact same type of situation. There's a hundred apprentices here at any one time being trained. We need more of this in the state. So we're amongst the Lieber factories right now. And uh, in, in the middle of all the factories, they have the original Lieber house. This is where everything began, as Hans just explained. So third, first one was this crane, tower crane, to help rebuild houses after World War II. Then the mobile crane came about, and then the third product was the wheeled excavator right behind me in the 50s, right? Let's see, I, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be a tour guide pretty soon. As Hans just explained, every machine they have here is made to order. And that means, he said, every machine, because Liebherr prides themselves on customizing everything so specifically to each customer that each machine is just a little bit different than the other one. So a lot of other manufacturers, they'll just produce, 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 and then they'll hope to sell. Liebherr, they only produce what they've already sold and what customers have already ordered. We're about to go into where they cut all the steel at. They only use European steel, so this is the raw steel that's awaiting to go into the facility for cutting and welding. But they don't use foreign steel, it's all from either Germany or Austria. So this is where all the parts are cut and then cleaned. So they take the big raw pieces of steel, they clean them, they put them over there on their plasma cutter, they cut all the parts they need out, then they run it back through the cleaner and they, using a, like an iron abrasive, they'll clean the cut steel to make it a little bit rough. And that'll help, that roughness will help the weld actually adhere to the steel in that next part of the facility. This is the prepared surface for welding. So we're over on the weld side now. And they'll grind all of the edges where it'll be welded to prepare the steel for a perfect weld because Usually failures occur at the weld point, so they want to make it as strong as they possibly can. Once so everything's welded entirely, they bring it over onto this part of the factory where everything's machined. And so that's when you get to this precision part of the manufacturing process. So you'll put it into a unit like this that'll come in there and over a few hours machine every little bit that needs to be machined on this frame before it goes and gets painted and ends up on the assembly line. Just to provide some context here, this is the TA-230 assembly line. So the Liebherr's, Liebherr's greatest, latest and greatest in articulated trucks. We saw the big rigid frame trucks get assembled yesterday. Now here's the articulated trucks. And this is the same truck we'll be running outside in a little bit. On 
the bigger machines, they'll have two hydraulic cylinders and then they'll have one of these, which is a gas cylinder. As the machine comes down, the gas compresses within the cylinder, which is stored energy. And as it goes back up, it'll release that energy, which reduces fuel consumption by up to 30%. It's just this clever little engineering trick that makes an enormous difference because you're compressing gas and then as you need it to come back up, you let the gas go to where it wants to go, which is energy, which helps lift that arm, which reduces the need for that hydraulic pressure, which reduces the need for diesel or power consumed on these machines, which is quite slick. PCP ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> Okay, we finished up at the factory. We just peed in some top secret building. He said people can't go in, but Angel and I have peed in there. Uh, right now we have two TA-230s. Hugo just took off in one of them. I'm gonna get in the second one. We're gonna test them out. They created a purpose-built test track right next to the factory to test these machines. They've been testing for months and years on this uh, articulated truck. So we're gonna go drive on the very test track and see how it feels. Alright, I'm gonna go try to break it. Machinery approved. Oh. Dude, going out there on the pumps is completely ridiculous. Doing that in a haul truck, you're just like, it's. I can't. I can't believe they built a whole track just to test these things. This is completely ridiculous, but it makes perfect sense. Like this is such a. Just German engineering thing to do. Why don't we just build a track that simulates wear on a truck and just drive it over bumps over and over and over again, see what breaks, and then fix it, and then keep doing it again. I just, I like the engineering of these machines. They're very well thought out. You can tell they're, they're just really thinking about this kind of stuff. Really well thought out piece of equipment. I'm very impressed. I'm still a little queasy from racing around their test track. So, got to see that. And with, I guess this, we are concluded here in Germany and on our European tour. This was the last thing of heavy equipment related things we needed to do on this trip. Now, Angel and I still have some things to do, but it's beer related. Okay. Noon. Very excited about that. So that's Lee Bear. That's Lee Bear, everybody. Thanks for watching the Europe vlog series. Thanks to Lee Bear, Keybag, Hurley Man, Aregger, Hugo, Eberhard. Fantastic time. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen all the videos, they are linked in this video. So check out all of them. Before we get into other videos, I just want to update you on what happened to the scoop. To the the scoop. scoop Instead of making a separate video answering questions weekly, we have instead decided to integrate questions within vlog episodes coming down the road. So please continue to ask your questions. We see them. I read 
almost every single comment on YouTube, and we will be answering them in subsequent videos as you watch like this one. And the final update is we have a new series called Watch Me Work, where it is just big equipment doing what it does best, which is typically moving dirt. A lot of people have asked, hey, can we just see the machines working? We're tired of seeing you talk. Check, we can do that. So we've created Watch Me Work. If you wanna see other machines, let us know, comment. Hey, this is great, this 6020, awesome machine, but I would love to see a 6015, check. We get to see just about every machine in the country, in the world, it's awesome. We have access to everything, so let us know what you wanna see. We will do our best bringing it to you and hopefully you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. We really, really appreciate it. We're happy you're here. Leave comments, like, send videos to your friends, do whatever you can to promote the channel. The more people watching about the dirt world, the better we all are, and the more we can make the dirt world a better place. We'll see you in the next one.